On the Walk and Talk, we have Brandon Lewis, who's been a huge contributor for the baseball program. Mm -hmm. We haven't really heard that much from you. Yeah. You're kind of a little more mild-mannered. I'm, I'm soft-spoken, I'd say. Uh, An introvert? Yeah, definitely. But, you know, I pick and choose my times to get a little rowdy. Uh -huh. So. Like on the field? Yeah. Oh, you feel uh, you're not, still pretty even keeled. Not much, yeah. Um, you know, I like to kind of keep everything steady and, you know, I don't want to be ever too high or too low. That's great. So, yeah. Well, it works in your performance, I'd say. Yeah. Okay, well, let's crack you open a little bit. <laughs> What's something you can't go a day without doing? Oh. Barring brushing your teeth and all that kind of stuff. I'm on my phone a lot. You on your phone? It's social media. Instagram, I Twitter, I hate what it, is but it? I love it. Kind of use it to see what's relevant now. Like, okay. I don't know, Twitter's a big source for news nowadays. Definitely. And so that kind of staying in the know. And, you know, obviously there's always funny stuff on Twitter. So like seeing that stuff. What's your go-to breakfast order? Oh man, probably Eggs Benedict. Oh, me too. <laughs> Who is the first person you text after games? <sighs> My grandma usually. She says that? Is, she no bedtime? She always is listening. She always has a text for me after every game. I'd say her, my girlfriend, and my dad. Okay. Those three. You know, if I do well, they're there to congratulate me. If I do bad, they're there to criticize me. So <laughs> They do? They yeah. criticize you? But yeah, it works both ways. Kind of just telling me to, you know, keep things in check, keep, the, keep everything going, okay. and yeah, just stay even keeled and next day. Well, your chains, <laughs> you've always got them on. <laughs> Yeah. If your nickname wasn't Beelu, we might call you Two Chains. I've heard it a couple times in the clubhouse. <laughs> <laughs> you always wear them? Do you ever take them off? Yeah, they're on me all the time. Maybe a little bit of luck, a little okay. bit of style. I've had my longer one for probably three years now. And my shorter one I just got a year ago as a birthday gift. Right. So, yeah. But your baseball career? Yeah. Out of high school, you mm -hmm. went to a junior college up in LA. Yeah. Played there, had success. Uh huh. Now you're playing nine months at the Division One level. Mm -hmm. Tell us about kind of your path there and how you've been able to transition so well. I mean, out of high school, I was you know out of shape. Kind of, I had an offer, a D1 offer. Mm -hmm. Kind of knew I wasn't ready for it physically. Right. So decided to take this junior college route, get my body in shape, and really focus on you know playing baseball yeah. and kind of fine tuning things I was already mm -hmm. pretty good at. But yeah, those two years there really helped me and. I feel like the transition, yeah, it's been fun, but also challenging. Yeah. Facing a lot of talent now, right. especially guys you played against in high school that go to a D1 straight out of high school. Yeah. But, you know, it kind of puts that chip on your shoulder knowing you took a harder route. For sure. And that, uh, you know, you have something to prove. It's been good for me, and then I wouldn't make any other decision. Did you feel like coming in, you were ever behind? the curve in that sense, just knowing that those guys had had a few years under their belt at this level? <laughs> uh, I feel like they kind of knew what to expect more than me. Yeah. But like I said, that chip on your shoulder makes you want to go out there and compete every day and prove that you belong to be there. Yeah. I didn't really feel too comfortable about making that jump right away. Yeah. And I really wanted to put myself in the best opportunities to succeed. So I felt like that was really the best option for me. But even like holding yourself accountable just to make that transition, like what is something that you've kind of taken on or done more of just to improve and to, like you said, keep working with that chip on your shoulder and be able to play the way that you have been? Yeah, just the, the daily grind. I mean, yeah. <laughs> as much as uh, you know, corny as it is, it's true. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah you just got to get better every day, no matter what. And kind of taking, finding the time you know, in your busy schedule to just, you know, go hit for 30 minutes or go take some ground balls. Everything yeah. just piles up and, you know, you get better. Well, how about your future? What about it? <laughs> <laughs> Could be potentially pretty exciting here quickly. Mm -hmm. What are yeah. you looking forward to? Yeah, I'm just taking everything day by day right now. Yeah. Um, kind of not looking too far ahead. I want to, you know, stay here, stay within the team yep. and, you know, try to take care of what we have the opportunity to do, which is, yeah. you know, hopefully make a regional and go far in playoffs. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, obviously it's, it's cool knowing that that lies ahead. Yeah. 
but right now I'm just focused on the moment, the task at hand. How about even the guys in the team that you've been able to come in to and work with and you didn't have a pre-existing relationship with them, but now you have the opportunity to do something so special yeah. and to make that postseason run that guys on the team haven't been a part of. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean... Is that valuable to you? Yeah, for for me, I haven't been on a you know a team with this much talent in so long. Yeah. And just coming into that and knowing what we had the opportunity to do and take care of this season, I think we all kind of just fed off each other yeah. and made it that much easier to you know, build relationships with each other. Everyone's been great. Everyone welcomed me in with open arms. Yeah. And yeah, I wouldn't rather be anywhere else. Well, we might say that a big part of the success could be your personal numbers and home runs. Mm -hmm. Maybe a part of that. Mm -hmm. And as it stands currently, you're tied for the season, single season home run record. Yeah. Three more games at least. Uh -huh. I think you've got one more in you. I think I do, yeah. <laughs> Been a little slump recently, but <laughs> you know, hopefully crack out of that this weekend and okay. set some records. All right, Brandon <laughs> Lewis, hoping for postseason for you guys. Yeah. And at least one more home run. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming on the Walk <laughs> yeah, Dog. No, thanks for having me. <laughs>